A Denver man is fighting for his life tonight after a horrifying accident over the weekend involving a trash compactor. Good evening. I'm Ann Trujillo. And I'm Shannon Ogden. And as Denver 7's Russell Haythorn tells us, he was trying to retrieve a cell phone that fell into the trash at an apartment complex. It's one of those stories that makes your stomach turn. It's unimaginable what it must have been like for him. 22-year-old Scott Walsh was trying to retrieve a friend's cell phone that had fallen into this trash chute at the Griffiths Apartments near Union Station. He was reaching down to get it for her and fell headfirst down the chute. They didn't realize it was a garbage compactor at the bottom of the trash chute. When he fell down, it activated it and he was in there, I would say, approximately like five minutes. A girl came out screaming, yep, call 911, so I called 911. The weight-activated machine partially crushed Scott's head, torso, and lower body, breaking both his legs, fracturing his skull in two places, and rupturing the arteries in his neck. I saw him come out of the trash compactor. It, was, you know, it wasn't a very good scene. He's very lucky to be alive. Remarkably, Scott survived. Doctors say he has no brain or spinal damage, and friends say when Scott's father visited him in the hospital this weekend, there were already signs of a recovery in the making. He grabbed his hand and squeezed. It's a miracle. Friends and colleagues at the pizza joint where Scott works have now set up this GoFundMe site. Because he would do the same for me. He's just, you know, as nice a guy as you can be. He got hurt trying to help someone. He's just a sweet kid. And while recovery could take months, friends say there's no question Scott will put up a fight. He's a tough kid, and uh, he's young, and I think he'll come back. If we could come together to help him, he would really appreciate it. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.